If you have kids or grandkids at home or you're new to my lectin light eating protocol, you might be asking, but what about prepared snacks, Dr. G? Are there any out there that I can have? So here are some of my go-to prepared snacks. Love crackers. Now, love crackers are made with a lot of the yes food seeds, like basil, hemp, sesame, and flax. These seeds all not only don't have lectins, but also have tremendous health benefits that I've talked about before. Flax seeds, for instance, are loaded with short chain omega-3 fats. Sesame seeds are loaded with an omega-6 fat that may actually fight inflammation. And basil seeds are loaded not only with omega-3 fats, but also they're one of the best polyphenol sources around. Now, they've got lots of different flavors. So you can go from savory to sweet. You can go from lemon. You can have pizza made with de-seeded and peeled tomato sauce, chunky chocolate, or plain. What's great about these crackers is they really don't have a lot of carbohydrates. And the carbohydrates they have are mostly fiber. And as you go along, you want to realize that, yes, there can be a lot of products that are lectin light or lectin free, but they still have a lot of carbohydrates. And I'll talk about that later in the lecture. Next up, Nature Nates. Now, Nature Nates is popped sorghum. Sorghum, when it's popped, smells like popcorn, tastes like popcorn, looks like popcorn, but it's just smaller than popcorn. Now, why do this instead of popcorn? Two reasons. Number one, popcorn contains multiple lectins that are really bad for you. Number two, 70% of patients in my office who react to wheat react to corn as if it was wheat. 70%. So corn is not an option for you as a healthy food. I understand why you like popcorn. I love popcorn as well, but it doesn't like me, and I can pretty much guarantee you it does not like you. So Nature's Nate is a great way to enjoy all the flavor, all the smell, all the texture of popcorn with one additional benefit. It doesn't have a hull, so you don't get those stupid hulls stuck between your teeth or under your gums. Sorghum is one of the two main grains that have no lectins. And sorghum has been shown to be great for your gut buddies. If you want more to learn about sorghum, go to my sorghum lecture on YouTube, all about the benefits of sorghum. I have a bowl of this every night, as does my wife. How do we use it? Well, if you like buttered popcorn, what I do is I pour some olive oil on my Nature Nate's pop sorghum and eat it with a spoon. But if you're in a hurry, eat it with your hands. My wife and I both think that this is one of the easiest, best ways to get olive oil into your mouth and you'll get all the flavor and crunch of popcorn, only it's pop sorghum. Great option. Next up are some great products that you can get at Thrive Market. Now, hopefully most of you know what Thrive is. It's an actual online healthy grocery store. And the great thing about Thrive Market is when you join, you can actually save a whole lot of money. And you can even search Dr. Gundry's shopping list and shop from my curated list. Now, here are just a few of my favorite snack items on Thrive. Now, Thrive cassava chips. These are cooked in palm lake oil. Now, there's a debate about palm oil. Now, I'm not a fan of palm oil, but this comes from the palm fruit rather than the palm seed. And there's a big difference in what's actually in palm fruit oil versus palm seed oil. This is palm fruit oil. So it not only has palm oil, palmitic acid, but it has oleic acid, the same fat as in olive oil. The additional benefit of palm fruit oil is that it has some pretty cool vitamin E's that really are only available in palm fruit. So, and as you know, cassava contains no lectins. So if you're looking for a chip that won't do you in, this is a great option. 
speaking of won't do you in but help your body, they make pashi, asparagus, and artichokes. And these are already prepared in a bag. You zip them open and you can munch on asparagus or artichokes. And they're delicious. They've got a little salty flavor. And what a great go-to as a snack that you really wouldn't have thought about. Another great snack, beware. It says Kapop super grains. And you're going, uh-oh, Dr. Gundry says grains are evil. This one is made from sorghum, what I talked about before. So it's got sorghum flour, it's got whole sorghum, and it's got olive oil that they cooked it in, and sea salt. So this is a great option. Just don't let the thing scare you that it says made from healthy whole grains. Thrive Market makes several organic chocolate bars that I think are fantastic. Dark chocolate 85% with cocoa nibs bar. Normally, when you're looking for dark chocolate, in general, the higher the chocolate content, the better. But they also make a 95% chocolate bar, and you go, wow, I think the 95 is better than the 85, but hold on. It turns out that the 85% is also loaded with cacao nibs or cocoa nibs. Those nibs are full of fiber, they're full of polyphenols, and believe it or not, the total sugar content of the 85% bar is lower than the sugar content of the 95% bar, and you're gonna get more fiber and more polyphenol content. Go for the 85 with cocoa nib. The 95 is good, but you're gonna get more bang for your buck for the 85%. Speaking of cacao nibs or cocoa nibs, buy cocoa nibs from Thrive Market, tear off a piece of your chocolate bar and shake the cocoa nibs on your chocolate bar. You'll get basically a Nestle's Crunch or Nestle Crackle Bar, but those cocoa nibs will give you additional fiber and additional polyphenols. So it's kind of like having your cake and eating it too. Great stuff at Thrive Market, please become a member. Every time you join, they give a free membership to a family in need. What's better than that? All right, are you ready for a new snack sensation? Have you considered peely nuts? Now, peely nuts actually come from Southeast Asia, and they were discovered by, believe it or not, a surfer. And it turns out that peely nuts are one of the highest fatty content nuts there are. And they taste kind of like a cross between butter and a macadamia nut. They are marvelously greasy melt in your mouth. These are one of the best things for my keto folks or things that keto folks are looking for. These are wild peely nuts and you go, but they're not organic. They're not organic because no one is going to go through the effort of certifying these wild jungles as organic. I often buy olive oil from farmers in Italy that aren't certified organic, but the fact is they would never think of spraying their olives, but they're too small to go through the process of getting organic certification. So when you see wild, that's beyond organic. Now there's lots of really great flavors. They come in convenient snack sizes. I happen to love the rosemary and olive oil for obvious reasons, olive oil, combined with peely nuts, combined with rosemary, which is one of the best anti-aging compounds, is just fantastic. Or they come in giant bulk sizes. Now, please be careful. Just like any other nut, you wanna use them in moderation. But a quarter a cup of these, they're absolutely pure fat, and what's left is a little bit of fiber. So you don't have to worry about carbohydrates at all. Other nuts, on the other hand, still have quite a few carbohydrates. These ones don't. So if you're really into keto, this is the way to go. For instance, this one uses coconut oil and Himalayan salt. This one uses just Himalayan salt. Quite frankly, you don't need any more oil, but they give some very interesting flavors. Now, how do I like to eat them? I just tear open the bag and snack on some. They also make some 
unbelievable chocolate that is peeling nuts and just cacao paste. There's literally no sugar in this, and yet they're definitely delicious. They come in multiple flavors. Try them all. You want to learn more? Listen to episode 232 with Pilly Nuts founder Jason Thomas. Now, there's one proviso since you're interested in these snacks. Even snacks made with compliant ingredients like sorghum flour, like cassava, other flours can actually wreak havoc on your health if you go crazy. Now, some of my patients see the words lectin light or lectin free or see approved foods on the package and they figure that they can have unlimited amounts. Unfortunately, every time we grind up a perfectly healthy lectin free grain into a fine powder and then use it, it still is broken down into carbohydrates. And we see those carbohydrates appear as triglycerides. And we've even seen people become insulin resistant eating healthy snacks, but too much of them. Additionally, even saturated fats from nuts, particularly like peely nuts, may not be so great if you carry the ApoE4 gene. We're not sure yet, but we want to err on the side of caution. So how much can you have of these things? In general, think about a quarter a cup of nuts or a half a cup of these other snacks. And there's other warnings to look for in snacks made with yes ingredients. For instance, if you see the word emulsifiers, just be careful. What oil should it be made from? Preferably, you want to see olive oil or avocado oil or coconut oil or even some more interesting oils like organic canola oil but most canola oil is not organic. So you gotta see the word organic because most canola oil in the United States and Canada is sprayed with Roundup, glyphosate, and you don't want that. Finally, when you're looking at a label, always look for total carbohydrates minus the dietary fiber to see actually how many grams of sugar there is in that product. Don't go looking for total sugars and don't go look for added sugar. That is a way of deceiving you. That way you'll know exactly how many grams of sugar is in your product. So for instance, there's zero grams of carbohydrates in this product. That's pretty good if you're particularly on a keto diet. Make sure to check out the next one here. Chocolate is so good for so many things, including heart health, brain health, and emotional health.